Hi guys, uh, today I have another question in Simpsons rules. As promised, I told you that I'll be putting up more examples. I am trying to work out all the unsolved examples uh, from the stability book, uh, which was written by Captain Subramaniam. I think this is Ship Stability 2. So here goes another question today. And this question is also pretty simple. Uh, so you won't have to waste too much time in watching it. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm working out all the questions. So if you think this is easy, just bear with me. Uh, I will be working out uh, the the more complicated questions as well. All right, so let's get started with this question. Uh, the breadth of a ship's water plane, which is 120 meter long, is given to you. They are all at e to equal intervals from aft and the breadths are mentioned here it's 1.2 9.6 13.2 15 15.3 15.6 15.6 14.7 12.99 and 0 meters so you if you count them you will see there are about 11 ordinates here right and that is given to you the ship's water plane is 120 meter long and the other thing you have to notice is this is the full breadth so not half breadth this is the full breadth of the uh, ship's water plane all right uh, what do you have to find you have to find the water plane area right and the freshwater allowance if the uh, displacement is 6811 tons given to you so w stands for ship's displacement if you don't know that already uh, i'll just write it here ship's displacement right of course if you have been working uh, on ship stability you'll know this already but just in case if you don't so what i normally do with these kind of questions is i draw a simple diagram and i label the ordinates so i can i have labeled it so this is starting from aft and this is going to forward and i've labeled the ordinates all the 11 ordinates has been labeled of course this drawing is not to scale this is just for my understanding so this also helps me to count the number of intervals one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it helps me to count the number of intervals between the ordinates because then i can calculate something called the h here so what is the h here h is equal to the ship's water plane length which is 120 meters given to you divided by the ordinate intervals right which i just counted as 10 so 120 by 10 is equal to 12 meters that's how it helps me so i counted 10 intervals here and then i divided the ship's entire water length which is 120 meters here as you can see by the number of intervals so that gives me h what is h h is the uh, distance here so each interval is uh, or each ordinate is separated by the other by an equal interval called the h and h in this case is of course 10 meters all right then uh, you have to decide on the rule that you will apply so you have three of the simpsons rules so i have counted 11 ordinates if you have 11 ordinates you can apply rule number one that's correct all right so you can apply rule number one so what you do is you write down the ordinates here you write down simpsons multipliers here so sim sm stands for simpsons multipliers based on rule number one of course in case uh, later on when you're watching the movie and you are struggling to understand what is this odd stands for ordinates of course which are given to us and then you have the product what is the product the product is the product of the ordinates multiplied by the simpson multiplier so if you have 11 um, ordinates so the simpson multipliers will be 1 4 2 4 2 4 2 4 2 4 1 all right then it's simply multiplying ordinate by the simpson multiplier and you get the product in each case you just multiply the ordinate by the simpson multiplier and you get the product so 15 by 4 is 60 15.3 by 2 is 30.6 you get the idea correct it's pretty straightforward pretty self-explanatory i don't have to explain it to you you have all done advanced stability this is nothing for the in front of that right so you've got all these things and here so once you get all the products just add the products together add all these products together with each other uh, all the 11 answers or the 11 products and you get sum of products what is sum of products when you add all these together you get 370.8 that is the sum of products all right now your area as per rule samson rule one and because uh, this is uh, these are full breadths given to you these are not half breadths your area is calculated by the formula h by 3 which in this case is of course 12 by 3 multiplied by sum of products which is 370.8 so h is 12 3 is a constant this 3 is a constant all right it's there in every time you use simpson rule 1 
and then you multiply it by sum of products and you get the answer 1483.2 metric square so this is your area so when you write area you must write metric square not metric cube all right meter square then you have to find the fresh water allowance now fresh water allowance is uh, uh, given by the formula displacement divided by 40 tpc now displacement as you know is given to you in the question itself is 6811 tons so you write 6811 tons here so this is 6811 ton okay 40 is a constant so you don't have to worry about that and then you have to find what is tpc now the formula of tpc is area by 100 multiplied by density now in this case of course the density of water is not given to you so either you can take fresh water which would be 1 in this case the answer would be 14.8314832 divided by 100 14.832 is the area so this is the area so then your tpc is 14.832 in case if you want to take fresh water or rather sea water then you can multiply it by sea water it's up to you uh, because the density is not specified here so ideally you know fresh water allowance is when the vessel moves from sea water to fresh water so in this case if i was to take that i was assume that the vessel is in sea water then my answer would be 15.20 right so then my answer would be 15.20 uh, 203 let's say right so this is for fresh water tpc this is for sea water in right so because they have not mentioned it so then i calculate fresh water allowance as displacement by 40 multiplied by the fresh water or the tpc which will give me a fresh water allowance of 11.48 but if i want to calculate by a seawater density tpc then it will be 6811 divided by 40 multiplied by 15.203 in that case my answer would be 6811 divided by 40 divided by 15.203 that would be 11.20 if i'm not wrong all right so i don't know which is the correct answer so normally see because fresh water allowance means vessel is moving from fresh water to sea water i would ideally take the sea water uh, tpc but if there's any confusion you can work out with both and you can make an assumption and say this is what i assumed and uh, depending on where the vessel was floating uh, and then you can write down the answers there so i hope you found this video useful i didn't want to waste too much of your time and this is a short question short answer required if you have any queries concerns or further questions regarding this question please let me know i want to put up more examples in uh, uh, simpson's rules as well as uh, trim calculations and other areas of ship stability as well as uh, cargo work problems all right so I, I realize people are struggling with basic cargo work basic uh, mathematical and nautical mathematics so i will keep working on these problems